has is going on this Wednesday. Hey, Scott. Thank you very much for the intro. Today, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, today is two, 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 two. I don't know if anyone else is going to have that in their lifetime. Are they, Brad? Well, I'll tell you what, this is not the week to remember. The week to remember is going to be on the 22nd because that's Ooh. going to be 22, 22, and that will be a Tuesday. Dang. You get it? Tuesday. Yeah, two. Well, I, I can't even handle it. There will definitely not be another one of those, folks. All right, all right. Very good. So today is the, the pre to day. Anyways, lots of twos, lots of fun for you guys today. Today, my good buddy Brad Williams is going to be showing you his goods. He's going to be doing a lot of the driving on the Q&A um, in terms of his screen that we're showing. I, of course, will present Brad the disclaimer and be gladly interrupting you while you're doing your stuff, you know, to interrupt and things. Sure. I'm like what I do. As you guys know, um, Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. All the information that you're going to see here are for information's plural, are for, in, for educational purposes only, not formal solicitations or any recommendations to buy or sell securities. Um, before we start, Brad, you know what I'd like to tell everybody? Go right ahead. Guys, right if, you, if you haven't watched it yet, go to Amazon Prime and watch this movie called The Alpinist. I really want you guys to see it. So good. Um, has nothing to do with the presentation here today, but it kind of falls along the line, Brad, of us being able to give good advice. You know, and by advice, we don't mean formal advice to solicit or buy or sell security, but advice for educational purposes only. <clears throat> um, it's a really good movie. I recommend all of you watch it. It's called The Alpinist. Um, whereas I today am the alpinist. <laughs> ah, on purpose, I see then. I thought you were yes. just really fat fingering it. No, I... Um, you know, I kind of mixed it up a little bit. All right, Brad, let's get, get right into the presentation. We're going to jump to your screen. screen my screen. screen. Very, your screen. Very Here's quickly. my screen. That's right. As you guys know, uh, before Brad starts, uh, we have been doing an immense amount of innovation to trade ideas. We're going to be showing you stuff, guys, that um, you don't yet have. Some of you can get very close, but not quite yet but we're showing you right now again brad's laptop laptop his computer and we are on the after hours section okay in the after hours section you can see a bunch of our older school windows on the left hand side two top lists a multi-strategy window you're seeing the single stock window on the right hand side followed by news and similar stocks and in the middle is really the core of our new uh, market uh, watching offering, which is the races, but you know it's more of a different visual concept for looking at stock market information. What it really does is allow you to see many, many uh, views of data at the same time and how that data interacts with one another. So just take a good look and notice what you're seeing. Number one, um, we've, we've, we're continuing to add functionality here. As you can see now, the symbols are colored by if they're up or down from for the day. So in other words, if a stock is uh, up, it'll be green. If it's down, it will be red. So you can see, is it the red things that are moving? Like MDJH is up for the day, but is pulling back after hours and so on. So again, we're layering information, uh, more and more information into the races. But what we've realized is that through this race functionality, it's like you're watching in this particular case, I think, Brad, it's 20 charts at the same time because you got 10 up top, 10 at the bottom. And you can yeah. clearly see that there is negative momentum in after hours. But we see that visually it's just so much more stimulating to see data this way. And, of course, this was only confirmed, Brad, by Barry, who told us today that he loves the racing. Now, <laughs> Barry, you know you do. Um, so. What we have been doing is we have been working on redoing many of the docking channel, docking channel bar channels. 
that you see here. Um, Brad, now let me, do you let have, me do this first. Let me yeah. let me give a high level explanation of really what yeah. we're looking at from the That's races. Right. I know there are a lot of new people, and this is definitely a very new component to our software. So actually, before I even explain this, guys, please go to our website. And once you do that, please download the latest beta. So in that latest beta, we've got this version. Well, it's almost this version of the stock race. So it'll it'll be really important to have that as you're perusing through the channels as we've embedded some stock races in there. So go ahead Critical. and download that. Critical. And, and we kind of assume that in the webinars, we have the kind of audience that wants that information, but it is really something that you should have. The beta has all the latest functionality. And, and again, it's going to be moving quickly from here on out, ladies and gentlemen. So go ahead, Brad. Brad's mic might not be working, or is it? Brad? Is anything working? Yeah, we can't hear Brad. I wonder if Brad's internet or something. I happened. see him connected. Um... It looks like his mic is on. Maybe he hit a hard mute button or is having other issues. Huh. Scott, do you want me to take over while he's doing whatever? Yeah, why don't I make you presenter? And uh, I think you should see that presenter thing on your screen right now to accept. Okay, tell me if you can see All my right. screen. Yes, I can, and I can hear you just fine. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're not sure what happened to our good friend Brad, uh, this computer. It seems to have been stuck in some sort of computer limbo. Let's not worry. I'm running the same exact page that he has. As I was telling you, um, in this particular case, we've got two windows. One is post-market gainers, and you can see them happen in real time and one is post-market losers. Brad's rebooting his computer and then he'll join us. I had to do that earlier today. Um, you're also seeing some new charting on the right-hand side. We're continuing to add charting functionality. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you something in this particular case. Um, so Meta Platforms, earnings today after market. That's why you're seeing this kind of annihilation, okay? And let's see here, time frame, let me add one minute. You know, again, notice you got area charts now. We're in the post market. There's a whole team of trade ideas developers that are working on uh, the charting functionality. And that's going to continue to improve uh, in all the new betas and eventually the full release. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, number one, tell you here you're looking at post-market percentage movers. So in this case, VON, and you can click on it in the race and see what's going on. And notice, of course, it had er the earnings spike. So you can see when the earnings date happened for that little spike right there. We're going to be doing lots and lots of cool additions like this to the charts, making them much more uh, user-friendly. But the big thing that we are showcasing, of course, is the racing. And the racing, once again, allows you to see a different layer of information. We believe this is going to be as critical as level two was back in the day where dinosaurs ruled the trading earth. Level two, everyone was very excited about it. This is the new level two. What's kind of cool is, again, you can see which waves. Is it post-market negative or positive that's moving? And clearly here, it's negative. Of course, only eight cents positive this continues to update and it's running a 10 minute race four minutes in so you can see these were the ones that were uh doing it before okay i'm back by the way dan okay uh do you want to switch back to you brad totally up to you um i think i'm okay for now uh let's okay. just uh so tell me again we were gonna you were gonna were you going to show 
just stop the race and show how well, it I, I think what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about what we're what we're really showing here in the races that's different from the data that we're feeding it, right? So uh, we've got these two different races, and I apologize if you went over this while I was rebooting here, but so we've got these two different races, and they're both looking at the very same top list that we have over on the upper left. That's feeding it the data, but but what's different from the top list and the races is once you start a race, it's giving you the information as to what's moving right now. You know, what's the distance that a, a stock has moved from the moment that you started a race? So even though all these stocks are either up big or down big, what we're seeing are the stocks that are moving from this point in time. So once we started the race, bond, for instance, has moved four cents or 1.19%, which is the greatest of this list that we're looking at. And we've got all that information down at the bottom as well, where you can see how far it's moved down. And then once it's won a race, these are 10 minute races, you can configure this any way that you want, either you know based on a value. So if it gets to a certain value, it wins a race, or if it runs a certain time frame. But regardless of that, we've got that winner's line right there. When you cross that winner's line, those stocks there have won the previous races. So on the very top race, Bond won the race, the first one, EGHT won the second one. And it's gonna continue to give you uh, this, these winner information. And, and that's really good as the day goes on, you know, even if you're not looking at a post-market race, we've got these races embedded into various channels. So as you're looking at this and you see the, the stocks that have won, it, it gives you a nice information flow that you can peruse through that either in real time or on a historical basis. So I, I, I did want to give that, that little high level. Now, all of these can be configured, Dan. Maybe you want to bring up the configuration. I know that you did that but I'll talk a little bit about that. So when you right click, like all of our windows, it's all right click context menu here, but you can decide how you want to, or what variable rather you want to base this race on. And even though we're doing change post-market, it's really just change in percentage. Um, post-market is what we use to define the list, but when we're doing a race based on Delta, you can see that Delta checkbox or the Delta radio button right next to the, the based on filter. That's telling us that we want to know the distance that it's moved from the moment we've started the race. A little different than if we had the total, where we could say, I want to see the first stock that's up 20% in the in the post market. So you can do it a couple different ways. And Brad, the, the, the thing is that once again, similar to our other channel bars, and we're going to show you some other things, of course, I'm going to take you kind of through a tour of them. But Remember that we are doing a lot of the configuration for you, meaning that we've already went through the steps to set it up. You don't have to tinker with it as much because we have a lot of expertise, especially since we designed this in, in setting this up. And we are continuing to add functionality. As you guys saw in Brad's version, these symbols are color coded. He's already ahead of me. I'm still in the, just the white. But then very soon in a new uh, beta release, you're going to see so much more data. We're going to show you how much these winners have won and how many times they've won the race. So again, as you have a window, let's say, let's go uh, switch from post market to our Fang and Friends. And again, this is a new channel bar basically. So if you haven't seen it, take a look. Um, in a race like this, you know, you have quite a bit of stocks. And during the day, if you started this at the open, you're going to have a whole section of winners. Okay. And these are some of the stocks that basically you want to be focusing upon. And as a result, you're going to get more information here in the winner circle in terms of what the winning was. Was it its first time, second time, third time? And how much did they win? Okay. So these are all kinds of kind of the things that are going to be happening that we're bringing to the table. So this is a channel that if you don't have the beta, I don't think you would have seen it. But again, all of you here should have this beta and you should download it. This is called the Fang and Friends. And this was the first channel that we did that kind of introduced you all to the racing concepts in general. And what we have here is stocks that everybody likes, Snap. Uh, or likes maybe is not the right word, but aware. Familiar. Yeah, familiar. you're aware of these stocks, the Googles, the Workday, Qualcomm, Pfizer, G, uh, GM, and there's other ones. Some of them, they need to move a little bit to make the race. 
So th there's some that you may not be seeing. Roku, uh, Stratasys, Xerox, American Express, Dell, Merck, Schwab, Lilly, Microsoft, of course. Um, and we continue to take some and add some away, or rather add some and take some away, excuse me. Um, curate the list. We, we Right, we continue to curate the list. But what I do want to showcase is the quick visual, right? So here we are in post-market, but any idiot can see that the negativity wave is beating the positivity wave. There, I mean, Google is actually up quite a bit in the after hours, just, you know, 7% for a stock that's you know, almost $3,000. But you can visually see the water, the surf, better in this way. In fact, we think that there is no other technology like the races that allows you to see movement happening as it's happening in real time, okay? So this is the Fang and Friends, and this is one designed, this channel is really designed for you to get acquainted with the racing and of course, see the stocks that you are comfortable with. Underneath, we have S&P 500. So this is similar to the Fang and Friends race, okay? But this has S&P stocks. And if you're looking at, again, this is, a, this is all designed for a comfort level for you. So here you're going to see stocks that you're familiar with that are in the S&P 500. And of course, again, they have to be up or down a certain amount to get into the race and to be in this lineup. And in essence here, Brad, quick, what's the amount that we have in the race line? I'm going to say 20 something. Yeah, we right. probably have 24 in there. Okay. So consider this for a minute, everyone. With 24 stocks in each race, you can at a glance survey 48 charts. Okay. Think about that for a minute. Here, you can see that out of all the movers out of these stocks, a line, ALGN, happens to be moving the most. This is a down move. But you already have a piece of information that other investors don't have. Okay, and this is being able to, where else? I mean, ask yourself this question. Where else can you quickly glance at 48 stocks? Okay, and know what's happening. Again, this is you gotta imagine this is happening during the day, right? When you're not just looking at a change from the close and seeing something negative or positive, right? You are seeing the momentum, as Brad said, since the race started. And um, guys, there is nothing like this in the market that we have seen that gives you a type of feel for what's happening like this information. Notice you've got the little red here that tells you if it's moving in the direction down or up. If things start to move up, you, you would see it in green. So again, quick uh, analysis of market data. So this is the S&P 500 channel. We have a channel for stock and volume racing, and I'm gonna, I'm trying to remember, Brad, relative volume. Yeah, let me racing. let me take this one because I think what we're what we're doing here on that top one is we're looking at stocks that are up the most from the open today. So that becomes our list of stocks that we're pulling from, and now we're then specifically looking for who's moving now out of that list. And that's the top one. The bottom one is really cool because what we're essentially doing. Uh, it's a little different here on this race. We're looking at the last 10 minutes or the next 10 minutes and seeing of all the stocks that are up big from the open, which ones have the biggest increasing relative volume. So that means that one could have had a relative volume of two, the other one three, the other one one. It all starts fresh at the point of the race and whose ever volume increases the most on a relative basis is going to win the race. So volume is really instrumental in finding stocks that are on the move or continuing to have some follow through power. So knowing which ones have increasing volume, not just high relative volume, but increasing volume is really nice to know. It is key, obviously Brad, in post market, it's not gonna have the same type of effect, which is why we are stressing that all of you guys that are um, already our subscribers, make sure you download the latest beta and just start channel surfing. First of all, again, there's so much power with the doc channels, but with this racing, you're, you're getting information that no one else is getting and you're getting it in a way that no one else is getting, okay? So, um, highly stressed that you should be taking a look. So this one is a great one. It's called Price and Volume Stock Racing. 
so we've added racing to Momo Momentum. I mean, we've done it to a lot of them, basically. And we have a similar format for you to look at this information. We've improved the look and feel and the surfability of every channel. What we've done is we've put in the streaming information and the, uh, the drivers of the data on the left-hand side. So you can see all, still see all the stuff stream, everything that you typically see. We put the race in the middle so that you can really start feeling what's happening during the day. And again, during the day, there's just no substitute for this data. Once you start looking at this, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is like heroin mixed with cocaine for the stock market. You, you can't, if we got Barry, and you know how hard Barry is to convince? I mean, very, very hard to convince. Brad, do you know Barry? I know. You know, yeah. the thing is, it, it looks, kind of gimmicky but the reality is that the data that's being just conveyed through it is super powerful and it's going to allow you to make money in the market well not only that but we're going to be we're let's talk about some things that let me show you first of all some cool stuff that you can do so over here i've got a channel bar in a dock on my other monitor and brad what did i just do i just cruised that channel bar right over so you can see well, remember i was talking about how racing conveys information in a different way and you can see again the green's trying to fight back but obviously the red is still boom look at you can see the waves you guys the waves nothing else like it once you go here Okay, AJ, hey once you go here, you can never go back. It's like Hotel California. You can check out anytime you like, Brad, but what can you not do? Mm. You can never cancel your subscription to Hotel California <laughs> or trade ideas. <laughs> Ever. Ever, right? Ever. You're never going to want to. After seeing this information, you're never going to want to cancel your subscription because when you go to other products, it's just going to look so lame especially since we're not even done with doing this stuff you're seeing us build it in real time i mean amazing amazing stuff okay so this is a race that's about to finish so let's let it finish but again you can kind of watch see dell computer making a little move here in the after hours nothing too too exciting you know um, DWAC. Well, you don't have the um, on this chart, and I need to add that, but it's such a small chart. You don't have the post market, right? So we're not, um, yeah, we're not looking at the post market data. Go to properties. Oh, properties. Why isn't it on time frame, Brad? Post market. Boom. Right. So there you get a you get a better idea of what's really happening um, with respect to those stocks. Don't like to see that. Thank you, Brad. I, I sometimes need a lesson in driving my own car. But no, good point. Um, it seems like, Brad, somebody should come up with a feature when in aftermarket, every stock chart switches to this mode. That would be a great feature. Somebody should tell somebody. Somebody that knows the CEO. I don't know who that is. Okay. But once again, to prove the point that we're trying to prove, you can see movement simultaneous chart movements in a way that you have not been able to see before this is what it looks like okay so we added uh this data to virtual to many of the channels we talked about etf racing let's do that real quick and notice once again similar formula okay you've got the single stock so you can see what it is news um similar price action in terms of pattern recognition, okay? So these are pattern recognition algos that are scouring for similar price action. That's why all this stuff looks the same, okay? Um, but the idea is to let it be easy for you to discern whatever it is you need to discern. And here, you, know, you got the ETFs and they're gonna be doing what they do, ETFing around, okay? Next, we added uh, a new short squeeze channel. 
similar formula. Easy peasy for you to decipher the information. Once again, single stock window on the right, news, similar stocks, race in the middle, data source on the left, charts to the right of the race. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Show post market. Okay. Um, virtually every channel is going to be have that similarity to make it easy for you to decipher the information. So it's really just the theme that's different and themes in the name SP 500, FANG, Momentum, Alpha Predator, uh, ETF Racing is what you're watching. You already saw um, After Hours channel. And the last one that we updated, I'm going to show you real quick is the NFT and crypto channel, which had not gotten a lot of love. Um, but the truth of the matter is these stocks are quite interesting, of course, and um, should be looked at. And this is just an easier, better way to look at it. It's kind of bringing all of this data to life. And there's just something so cool about that. Just bring that in, post-market data. Once again, you should be able to see that we've added a lot to the charting, you know, show you when the earnings was with this E. Um, you can trade from the charts. You can right click and create a price alert, or of course you can come here and do it at a price where you shouldn't do it, or should you? Brad, did they fix that? I can't tell. Um, I think they did, but not on your version. <laughs> I think they did, he says, but not on your version. Fine then. But anyways, um, once again, uh, we're going to make the race cars not always be necessary. It's just that it's a great way for you to understand what this data is. But uh, very soon, you won't have to look at it if you don't want to. I know lots of people are trip over, why do we need to see race cars? <laughs> don't worry. It's not going to be something you are forced to see, although I love them and I'm actually working on a, mo a mode where the wheels move. Brad, do you have that in yours? I do not have that. Handy. It's one pixel circled and it kind of moves with the speed. I don't worry about it. Yeah, but we've, we've got, you know, we, we've done, we're, we've talked about um, logos and some other visual ways to look at this data. So, you know, it's a constant evolution and we're, we're continuing to work on it. We'll be spending some good time with it but it is it is a good way along right now so you can definitely get value out of it yes yes um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to where we started which is our after hours okay and And what I want to say is that, I mean, there's a couple of things. Number one, you know, we are always here to answer your questions, but we uh, say that specific software related questions are better done in support and uh, better sent an email. Brad and I are here to kind of give you a showcase. That's what we're doing. And the, the, the main component, Brad, that I would like to reiterate during this Q&A is that we've standardized the channels, this look and feel, single stock on the right news which by the way don't worry about this message it's just because of my version it has nothing to do with anything brad why do you when i say it has nothing to do with anything i want you to make it so you can click on uh any news headline and it brings up a, uh, a news story and we're all we are too going to be working on the news of course as well um but Snap, let's see. Snap news, let's see what's going on. Double click and here you have it. Okay, so we have news and we have the pattern recognition built in. And let me show you um, again, I don't know what it'll find for this, but Google. So notice that Google on the daily is kind of high up. So if I'm not mistaken, and I am mistaken, Google, maybe the, Brad, are these, uh, um, 
Let me see here. Real quick. Well, remember, there, there are a couple of things here. Because you don't have the, the version that's just yes. been released today by Julio, you still have a little bit of the older chart, which has some, some issues, but they'll be done. You know, the next beta that's going to be out after this one right here that you can download is going to be right before the test drive. And that's right. coming up February 14th. So, well, what I was just trying to show is that here we have Google, which is up, and BBGI, if you look at it, is also up. And obviously, right now, with today's market, there wasn't a lot of stuff that's up, but I'm just trying to show you that the pattern recognition is in. Okay? You got all this stuff happening here, lots of things. So, here's SIPI, and theoretically speaking, um, you know, some of this stuff hopefully would look a little bit similar. Yeah. So all of this is new, brand, brand new functionality. Okay. Critical component. Make sure you download the beta. Um, start playing around with it. Open the channel bars and get after it. Um, Brad, let's switch back to your, because uh, um, I, I don't have my uh, PowerPoint up. So let's make you the presenter and switch back. And, and, and unless there's uh, there's any questions, well, let me let me show a couple of things here because in yeah. that latest beta that you can download, uh, if you right click on a chart, you can select chart styles here, and we've got a couple tabs up at the top here, so you can define what type of chart you want to look at. Candlestick is what we've had for the last 18 years. Yeah. Um, but you know we have line chart, bar chart, area, which is what Dan was showing. Um, you can dictate whether it's going to have this line be um, colored based upon the open or close of that bar of the time period you're looking at. You can just go one color. Um, so a lot of customizability. I've already shown the, the gradient aspect of it, but then you can you know, work the gradient, change your text color, your candle color, the watermark. And so we've really enhanced the charts and continuing to do it. You can see up at the top here, I've got a stock that um, had earnings today. It's giving me that notification up at the top. So in addition to um, pulling a stock that had previous earnings where you see that earnings icon on the daily with the beam of light shooting up to let you know what candle it is. Uh, we're also giving you this information here um, right on the chart for future earnings or earnings that are happening today. And if your chart happens to be small like that, you're just going to get a little yellow icon letting you know exactly what's happening from an earnings perspective. So that's that's new in the, uh, in the latest beta as well. Um, Awesome. That's funny. I don't I don't have that um, page up, but I'll open it because my computer died. But I'll pull it up. Yeah, I think the big the big news for February, of course, is that this is our test drive month. It's for eleven dollars and eleven cents. You will have a little more than two weeks to try everything out. Tell your friends. Tell your buddies. Um, if you uh, are any kind of uh, Caltech, we're working on that. Uh, we don't have a full Mac version, yes, uh, yes, version right now. Um, there's obviously some Mac solutions. Um, uh, Brad, we what's the thing that people use for Macs? I don't know. You, I'm sure you you know of one. I mean, we have. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I would. I would. There there are a couple of ways that you can do it. You can obviously use our web version. It's not quite as robust as the application. But if you wanted to use the application, one of the best ways to do it is uh, have an Amazon Workstation account. Um, and that way, you can just open up a Windows computer as a window on your Mac uh, and get all the functionality of it. it works super quick and and it's really robust. That's another. That's a good way. Also, you could have VMware or Parallels, which are two emulation, Windows emulations for Mac, that'll work as well. Yep, let's get to the PowerPoint, big fella. All right, big guy. All right, um, let's start right here. Uh, PowerPoint it up. So, your, your buddies here, Trade Ideas, made in the USA by US developers. The only outsourcing that we do is on Indian reservations, Pachanga. For golf and gambling, um, I joke. You know, we do all of our software development here. Um, very proud of that, and we've done all of this without one red cent of venture capital money. That's why your CEO, me, can get away with saying the stuff that I say because we have no VC money. I can call you names. I can do all sorts of amazing things that you can't do in corporate culture. 
And of course, we have been and now are for the fifth year ranked on the Inc. 5000 fastest growing privately held companies. Very proud of that since we do also compete with ourselves there from the previous year. Next slide, sir. Pepe. Uh, all you have to do is look at the screens behind. Pepe knows what's happening. He's long X and Anacot Steel and some other stuff. And uh, with trade ideas, you are your own fund manager. You should be your own fund manager. Your funds are very important to you because they empower your lifestyle and you should be the one in charge of things that empower your lifestyle. Next slide, sir. I don't even need to say anything. You yeah, already know. Time on that. If you, that's fine. If you don't, and look at that pretty stuff. Old, but pretty, so old. Next. Please don't subscribe to Trade Ideas. I say this every single time. It's my new favorite thing. If you, it's, mantra. it's my, it's, it's my, it's a, the most, it's the most critical thing that I want to reiterate is don't subscribe to Trade Ideas if you cannot afford seven dollars and fifty cents a day for the stuff that I just showed you. If seven dollars and fifty cents a day seems like ooh, you know, that's dangerous. That's a lot. Well, then there are so many vendors out there that will sell you the goose that laid the golden eggs for $15 a month, and we would love for you to work with them instead. So please don't subscribe to Trade Ideas. But if you do like us or love us, in fact, and you should, and you appreciate the value that we provide, and know that $7.50 is zero when you're paying for client-facing AI that does racing. Oh, my God, I can't even take it. We have a promo code, LOVETI, as I do, and Brad does, and Scott, and Barry, and everybody else. Although we love it in a purely educational way, Brad, not in a way where we're soliciting buy or sell recommendations, as you know. No buy or sell, no. Never. 15% off your first month, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Please tell your friends so that they can tell their uncles that it's test drive time. February is test drive time. And you should sign up now, $11.11, .11, some good numerology with today's date of the Q&A webinar with the 2222 Brad, right? It kind of goes together. So today's a great day to sign up for the Q&A webinar that starts on the 14th, trade-ideas.com forward slash test drive. You are not going to want to miss it because there's going to be some stuff in there. Support. Support, support, support. You guys, you could not have our company doing as well as we do on the Inc. 5000 without an extensive, well-managed, constantly evolving support structure where we help you with all aspects of trade ideas, whether it's one-on-one -on -one webinars or training or going to our YouTube channel where we have every aspect of our software completely detailed and videoed out Please, all you need to do is do a little bit of searching and you'll see what people say about how we support the software. It's amazing. Trade-ideas.com forward slash live. Barry, Big today bear. was the day. Okay. You guys mark this day down in the calendar. Today, Barry told me the truth. He loves racing. That's all I need to know personally. Trade-ideas.com forward slash trading room is a place where Barry showcases to people how professionals use trade ideas. There's a race window in there. Lots of great resources and a meritocracy of amazing traders that help one another all throughout the day. Barry does an amazing job and he really helps people because again, as he said this to me many times, he loves what he does and uh, we love that he does it so well. So check out this trading room. It's free for everyone, and it's a great resource to learn. We do real-life trading at trade-ideas.com. You can trade through our Brokerage Plus, which we didn't demonstrate, but we are redoing so much of that as well. It looks so cool. I mean, new execution panel, by the way. See where it's I didn't even spend any time on that. Yeah, we have say, this. Where it says not connected, Brad. Brad knows he's not connected now. Whereas before, you never know, even though there's a red thing at the top that shows him is not connected. So many things. Um, but we 
trade live with interactive brokers and with E-Trade for zero commissions. So you can actually trade on trade ideas. You can do so many cool things. Full platform, the best platform in the business. As I've said, E-Trade, once again, trade-ideas.com forward slash E-Trade, your zero commission broker, whereas interactive, you still have to pay some commissions. But soon there will be now, a we're, we're actually, um, we're, we're bringing on a, a second version of the IB connection that will uh, be free commission. So correct. Correct. Okay. Now, while myself and Brad have been fully kicked off of all social media last year, um, there are some of us who are still on it, as you can see. Um, always active. Please like us on the face, face, meta, and in, in, Insta talk, and the other medias that are social and uh, where everybody goes, but I'm not allowed to. We have an extensive YouTube channel with all the information that you need on all parts of Trade Ideas. Encourage you to check that out. And should you have any questions of any kind, please shoot us an email and our support staff will get right to you as soon as possible. You can always call us, but I would say an email is, of course, the better way to go. Scott, I think we are completely done. I think you covered everything. Also, keep an eye out for at Trade Ideas on Twitter, and uh, you'll find our other handles if you follow any of them. Uh, the recording will be up later on tonight or tomorrow on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. You get an email reminder tomorrow with a link to the playlist where you can find it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thank you, Brad and Dan. Have a nice one. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Take care. Okay.